Do you know you must back up your site even if you are just getting started and don't want to lose your work that you've already put into your site? Before we dive into the best backup solution for your WordPress site, let's understand why backup is so important for your website. Whether your website is hacked or infected with a virus or maybe you have deleted your website file accidentally or maybe server is crashed or update goes wrong, you will be able to get your website up and running with no time with a backup file. Without backup, you may lose your site forever or you may need to create your site from scratch. Before those terrible things happen to your website, you must backup your site immediately. There are some backup solutions for you guys. First check if your hosting plan comes with backup service. If it isn't, then you should try the WordPress backup plugins. There are several of them that can backup your site but handful of them are the best. In this video, I'm going to show you the best backup plugins that I personally use to backup my site. So without wasting more time, let's get started and let me show you how you can backup your site with few clicks of button only if you're using WordPress site. Okay buddy, in your dashboard, how you mouse over plugins and you have to click on add new and we are going to install a plugin. Come over here into the search bar and search for WP Vivid and you have to install this one, Migrate Backup Stacking WP Vivid by WP Vivid team. This is the best backup plugins out there that I personally use like I mentioned earlier. So go ahead, click on install now and you have to activate the plugin. So once you activate the plugin, it will automatically open the WP Vivid backup plugins user interface. Here you will see the several tabs right here. This plugin comes with the different types of features and functionality that we'll look at in a moment. First, let's look at the website you can see this is the fresh installation of this website. As you can see, there is a no content here. If I go to post, all post, you can see there is only one post, hello world. And then you can see there is a one, two, three, three themes installed on this website. Now let's try to backup this website. To backup your website, you have to go to backup and restore tab. Here you have to choose what type of files you want to backup. If you want to backup the entire site, you have to select the first option, Backup plus files. It will backup your entire website. You can backup only WordPress files or you can backup only database. And the custom feature comes with the pro version of this plugin. If you just want to backup your entire site, make sure you select the first option. And the next way you want to save your backup file. Do you want to save your file on local or you want to save your file on remote storage? What is remote storage? Well, if you go to this tab right here, remote storage, you can see Google Drive, Dropbox, Microsoft OneDrive, or so on and so forth. These are the remote storage. If you want to send your backup file to remote storage, you have to authenticate your website or this plugin with one of the remote storage you have, okay? If you have only Google Drive, you can select Google Drive and click on authenticate with Google Drive. It will connect your website with Google Drive. Let's come back to this tab and click on backup now. But before that, look at this option right here. If you check this option, this backup file can be deleted manually. Otherwise, if you don't want this option, you can simply click on backup now and it will backup your website with few seconds or blink of eyes. There you go. You can see I didn't speed up the video. It backup my site with a few seconds and below you can see I have two tabs here, backups and upload. In the backup tab, you can see I have the file that I've just backed up. You can see I can download this file by clicking over here. Click on download. Click on download once again and download this file and save it wherever you like on your computer. Let's save it. Let's close this up. Now, let's say you have accidentally deleted your website file. For example, let me go to appearance and theme. It could be anything. It could be theme file or plugin file or any kind of media file if you have deleted accidentally. Let me delete this one. Delete, click OK and let me delete this one as well because those themes are not activated. Only this theme is activated 2023. So now let's look at how to restore your website if anything goes bad to your website. That's how you mouse over WP Vivid plugin. Click on backup and restore and here you have two options. First you can see we have already existed backup file in our server, okay? If this file deleted somehow, you can drag and drop your downloaded file over here, okay? But in this case, we already have the backup file. You can click on restore button and it will restore your website in few seconds. Click on restore, click okay. Restoring overall progress. 
you can see it is completing so as you can see restore complete successfully with few clicks of button or with few seconds now if i go to dashboard and now let's have your mouse over appearance and then click on themes you can see all the deleted files or themes has been restored successfully so this is how you can back up and restore your website with few seconds now let's look at the another option very useful option hover your mouse over wp viewer backup and then click on backup and restore and here you can see we have this tab right here said you make sure you enable this option if you enable this option it will automatically backup your website on these bases 12 hour daily basis weekly fortnightly or monthly okay i recommend you to select this option daily and then what type of files you want to backup If you want to back up your entire website, you have to go with first option. If you want to back up the WordPress files only, you can select the second option. Database only, the database where you like to save it on your local drive or your remote storage. Okay, so make sure you check this option if you don't want to lose your site ever. And there are so many other features that comes with this WP Viewer plugin. If you want to check out the full video tutorial. I've already created a full video tutorial on WP Viewer plugin. You can migrate your website from one host to another host. This plugin can do that as well. You don't have to hire a professional or any type of service to migrate your website from one host to another host. This plugin can do that as well with the free version. So that's the pretty much it. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this one. And don't forget to check out the other WordPress security tutorials. that you will find in the video description that being said goodbye till then i'll see you guys next time